You'll probably be photographed more on your wedding day than any other day in your entire life. So what you wear is pretty crucial. Honestly, you can start shopping as soon as you've booked your venue and officially set a date. It's definitely a good idea to know when and where your wedding will take place so you can find attire that suits the vibe and season of your big day. You might not know this, but it can take between six to nine months for a wedding dress to be produced. Wedding dresses aren't stocked the way regular clothes are. They're produced as they're ordered. So you can expect a pretty long lead time or pay for rush fees if you need your dress faster. And that's not even including the time it takes for fittings and alterations. A dress very rarely fits perfectly when it first arrives. So you want to factor in a few months for that process. Bottom line, when it comes to attire shopping, the sooner the better for sure. You want to have your ensemble purchased at least nine months before the big day. While yes, it's certainly possible to buy a wedding dress online, I highly recommend visiting a retailer to try on dresses and attire. That way, you can see the fabrics in person and determine which styles and silhouettes look best. The Knot has a great directory of wedding salons in your area, so you can easily find the right boutiques to visit. Check out the link in the description below. Also note that most wedding boutiques are by appointment only. You'll also want to find out if there are any salons that have sample sales or trunk shows coming up. These events often mean discounts on dresses and attire. If at all possible, I recommend trying to shop during the week rather than on the weekend. The salons will be less busy and you won't feel as rushed. You'll likely have about an hour to try on dresses during your appointment. First, start browsing wedding attire inspiration to figure out both what you like and what you dislike. Lace or chiffon, strapless or boat neck, sleeves or no sleeves. You can choose your preferred wedding dress neckline, sleeve type, fabric and gown silhouette, but be open to other styles that may look even better once you start trying things on. Check out Instagram, save ideas to your Pinterest board, and check out the photos on The Knot so you can share dress pics with your stylist during the appointment. While the average cost of a wedding dress is about $1,800, you can spend a lot less or a lot more than that. Make sure you have a clear number in mind that you can exceed and don't try on anything that's pricier than your set budget. This question is a biggie. Who should you bring with you to your shopping appointment? Some salons limit the number of guests, while others allow you to bring as many loved ones as you want. I recommend keeping your crew to one to three VIPs so the opinions don't become overwhelming. On the day of your appointment, it is so important to eat a light but filling meal and hydrate before you head to the salon. You don't want to be hangry while you shop. Definitely save the boozy brunch for after you're done trying on dresses. <laughs> It's a good idea to wear neutral colored underwear to any dress shopping appointments, but don't worry about wearing a particular type of bra. Your salon consultant can temporarily clip a dress to make sure it's providing proper support and coverage. We also recommend bringing shoes that are similar to whatever you think you might wear on the big day, whether it means tall stilettos or comfy flats. And if there are any other accessories that you know you're going to wear on your big day, like a, a veil that belongs to your grandma or a special necklace, bring them to the appointment for sure. When you arrive at the salon, be upfront and honest with your stylist about your likes, dislikes, and of course, your budget. Tell them as many details about your wedding as you know, including the date and location of your big day, and show pictures of styles you love. While it's so important to have an idea of what you're looking for before heading to your appointment, it's equally important to trust your stylist and keep an open mind. You might be expecting to fall madly in love with the dress, come out of the fitting room, burst into happy tears, and make your entourage cry too. Sometimes it happens that way, and sometimes it doesn't. If you don't find a wedding dress you love at your first appointment, it's totally normal. There are thousands upon thousands of dresses out there, and while coming up empty-handed on your first trip can feel like a letdown, don't give up. And if you find a dress that makes you feel confident, comfortable, and like the best version of yourself, that's a huge win. Once you've officially said yes to your dream wedding look, your stylist will take your measurements so your dress can be ordered in the correct size. Then you'll put down a deposit and your dress will be into production. Make sure you've taken lots of pictures of your chosen style so you can start shopping for shoes, jewelry, undergarments, and other accessories. The dress salon will call you when your dress is ready so you can make fitting appointments. You usually have three or four of these to make sure your look fits you like a glove. 
Are you ready to start shopping for your wedding look? Head over to the Not To Find a retailer near you and feel free to ask your shopping questions in the comments below. Thanks so much for tuning in and stay tuned for more wedding planning tips.